Hello everyone, welcome back to Tector.com. Uh, we are going through the illustration portion of ER diagram and the conversion of tables from ER diagrams. Okay, so uh, the basically problem is number of relational table required to store a relationship uh, to store entire ER diagram. ER diagram. <coughs> okay, or uh, our model. So in last example. Uh, whether you, I don't know whether you get uh, this doubt or not, but I just wanted to clarify. So uh, here, here we have this course offering is a weak entity, right? Now this weak entity has identifying relation is offered, okay? And this is enroll, enroll relationship, student enroll for courses offering, okay? So there may be a doubt that if it is n is to n relationship this is fine okay we will separate we will have a separate table for this enroll but how in the case or what we will store in this enroll table as we have this this is our enroll table okay and we will store SID that is student ID which is from this student part key attribute and this is a uh, this is course ID which is basically from this course offering and then this is a uh, grade. Grade is the attribute of this relationship. Then there should should be a question or a doubt that if this relationship, this entity is a weak entity, then it is clear that it is not having any key attribute, right? It doesn't have any key attribute. Then in this case, how we can store this this course ID? Okay, because if you consider in course, there is a course on uh, computer science. Okay, uh, so computer science and electronics. Let's say CSE and EC. Okay, both the two courses or departments are offering a course that is digital electronics. Okay, both are offering digital electronics having course ID, say. ID 2 okay so this is the course ID this is digital electronics everything is same this is something like a employee has or the two employees has dependent with same attributes like uh, there are two employees in a company both of them has a child of 16 years having same name and same date of birth okay so in this case Similarly, we have computer science and electronics. Both are offering a course digital electronics having ID ID2. Then, here if we are storing in enroll table, if we are storing course ID, how we will. Oh, sorry, I have a call. Well, I will not take it. So, if we are storing course ID both, then how we will store this these two things? Okay? Because this is not the key itself. Course ID is not a key it's a partial key okay so in this case it's very clear we will take another attribute which is id which is this this honor attribute honor uh, entity this is course is honor entity like cac and ec okay so in this case we will also store the key attribute of this honor entity okay so here we will also have this cid Okay, CID. So this CID, this CID, okay, this CID, CID, okay, this CID is basically the key attribute of this this honor entity course of this weak entity course offering. Okay. So well, I hope now there is there should not be any confusion. But yes, confusions are always good when you are understanding. The things perfectly you should have confusion okay so if you have any doubt please ask your question now in doubt section thanks for watching